You are now about to witness the strength of street knowledge. Let's discover hard couple months, but it's in this this enough for you to know what's up in the hood. Welcome to Hardcover. Have you ever thought to look back how far you came? You may notice that you'll be graduating high school soon, or maybe you have a long time to go. You might, have, you might have had your first love or maybe even moved to a completely new place, but it doesn't change the fact that you're here now. Today's episode will feature past, past films made by teens. This episode theme will be coming of age. Some of these stories are yours or yet to come. Hi, my name is Elizabeth. Hi, my name is Franny, and I am a 16-year-old immigrant. And I am an immigrant living in Chicago. I am from um, Nigeria, Ibadan, Nigeria. Originally, I'm from Ibadan, Nigeria. Chicago is special to my immigrant experience because Chicago is the city that raised me. Um, of course, I was really young when I came, but Chicago is Chicago's the type of city where almost everybody's an immigrant, like everybody has an immigrant story, whether it's them, their first generation, or their parents, their grandparents. Chicago adds to my immigrant experience, I guess by introducing me to like other immigrants, because Chicago is known to be very diverse. When I first came here, I thought I'd be alone, like that I was like, oh, this is a new thing for me. But when I got to high school, I let my little butterfly wings spread, and I branched out, and now I am vice president of my school's West African Club, and I have a huge community. Community is a big part of African, um, African culture in general, Nigerian culture, and to find that community outside of Africa, outside of Nigeria, in this place that I now call home, Chicago, is, was, a big, was a big milestone for me, and that's what is keeping me connected to my culture now. I love talking about my culture. Um, I talk about it all the time. It's, some would say it's my personality, but um, I don't like being like interrogated on it because then it's, it's like you're an exhibit, like a museum exhibit for people to watch and prod and poke. Something that I would change, and I think a lot of people agree with me on this, is the amount of stress it causes on people because being an immigrant is not easy. The people that I experienced that firsthand is the parents who immigrated and who have to support their kids and that's something my mom experienced firsthand and I would also say my dad experienced firsthand too because the stress of moving to a whole new country starting over like imagine building up your whole life just to come to a whole place and then it just completely erases like it's like it never existed and you have to start from scratch so something I would change is the stress of um, an immigrant coming to Chicago. I would describe myself as somebody who's gone through a lot. As an immigrant, as just or or as just Liz, or as just Oyinko, my Nigerian self. That's my Nigerian name. I've been through a lot as an immigrant, as um, the American version of myself, Liz, and the Nigerian version of myself, Oyinko. Um, I have experienced people's reaction to me as an immigrant. I've experienced. Um, how people treated me. I experienced how I've learned from how people treated me and how I've grown from that. Um, and I would describe myself as somebody who has become a better person from the journey I made since 2010. Um, yeah, I would describe myself as somebody who's proud of herself, proud of the people she's surrounded around herself, um, part of the people who's, who raised her, um, proud of just proud of who, like how happy I am today as a person. Yes, and I still have a lot to learn and grow, but I would, I would definitely get there. And, and I'm proud of my journey so far. Every part of my personal identity is influenced by my culture. Everything that I do, how I talk, what I eat, what I like, what I listen to, that is all, it all stems from Nigeria. It all stems from Yoruba culture. I am really into film. I work in film, and every chance that I get, I throw in my culture into a film that I can make, personal films that I've made, and um, so I think I tend to pull my culture into everything that I do. That's a big part of my personal identity, um, is being Nigerian, being Yoruba, and uh, being an immigrant.
Medina. D? What up with you? Just chilling, man. Relaxing. Enjoying the weather. Why you ain't studying for the test? Man, forget that test. Hey, what's up with you and Janice? It is Friday. It is about that time. I do think I'm ready. You think you ready? Boy, you're 18 and a senior in high school. You better jump on that with the quickness. I am, man, but... What, man? She on her way, man. Oh, uh, she is? Yeah. Like that? Yeah, I see you, man. Go ahead and get on that then. Get on that then. I'm going to be out. I'm going to just be out. Yeah. I'll see you, Chief. All Hey, you guys out? Okay, here I come. What's up? Hey, man. Mmm, you smell good. Hey, you know, I just wanted to be special. Oh, that was so hard. I had to get up early in the morning. Today at school, it was so boring. I had to dress up and I was like dressing up. What's the problem? Nothing, I was just thinking. Okay, about what? I mean, seeing as how this is my first time and not for you. What's this about? No, I just, I just want things to be perfect. What are you trying to say? To some out of version you don't trust me? No, it's just... Then what? I think we should get tested. You think I got some? What are you trying to say? I just want to be sure. I just want to get rid of this awkward feeling. I can go with you for support. Awkward feeling? I'm leaving and I ain't getting tested. Wait, did you, did you, get, did you study for the test? What they got to do with this? Batteries. Rocco, Darius is here. Okay, Ma. Counselor that can help you talk to you and find out why Nathan is coming out the way. Good luck for you. Take care of you. She left, man. What you mean she left? I thought everything was perfect. What did you say? Well, we weren't seeing eye to eye on things. I asked her if we could go get tested. Why did you ask her that? I thought you known this girl for a while. I just, I just want to be safe. I just want to be sure. You should know she ain't like that. Well, all it takes is one time. Oh, okay, use a condom. It ain't even about using a condom. Well, man, you, you ain't said. Look, you, you three or four of them, man. I, I trust her, but I got responsibility, man. You feel where I'm coming from? Yeah, I do. You scared? You, you scared of Janice? I'm not saying I'm scared. I just want to be safe. Look, 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 here, I got an idea. This is what you do. You call her over. Make sure you smell good, right? Right? And play some slow music. Get in the mood. Now, how is that going to convince her to get tested? Look, man, if you're planning on losing your virginity, you better get with it. You know 25% of women in the U.S. have an STD? <laughs> that means a bigger 75% of them is clean as a whistle. 
So it don't bother you at all that the one of the girls you might have been with could have been part of that 25%, huh? You just never know. In fact, man, I gotta go. I need to study for that test. Are you serious? Look, man, you, you, you left your condoms. What's wrong? Well, look, if your master don't get tested, you might as well take it and jump in the lake with it. If there's nothing to hide, then what's the problem? It's a waste of time. How are we gonna know about each other then? Trust. Trust, boo. That's all we need is trust. I trust you. I just don't trust the last dude you were with. What you trying to say? Did y'all even use a condom? You know what? Don't even tell me. I don't even want to know. Why don't you just trust me in this decision to get tested? How about this? Maybe both of us should just go home and study for the health exam. I ain't getting tested. Call me when you make up your mind. I did. Tell you the truth, I don't even think we need to be together no more. Matter of fact, I think we need to end this. That's it. That's where we at. What up, man? What's up? Chill. Hey, how'd it go? Was it good? Did you hit? Nah, she didn't agree with me on my decision to get tested, so we had to end it. So she left me? Yeah, she left me. Well, yeah, I kind of knew it was going to happen anyway, you know. Well, your loss. Hey, how you know about that stuff, about STDs and stuff anyway, Joe? I studied for the test. All that stuff was in that book? Yep. Word? How you do? I got an A. What you do? Man, after seeing question one, I could look at two through 40. That was too hard, man. <laughs> hey, what you about to do? Nothing. What's up? Hey, man. I ain't Janice and all, but you know you want to go get tested with me? Yeah, I'll go with you. I'm talking about my man. Why are you whispering now? Ain't nobody else around. Never know. Okay. What's that for? Look, man, if I find that I got something, the only person I want to know is you. Yeah. That stuff you was telling me the other day, that stuff kind of scared me, man. Yeah. I am no longer Rocco. I'm Rufus. <laughs> Let's go, <laughs> Rufus. My first heartbreak, I was like 11 or 12, like probably fifth grade. And like this girl, she realized I messed me up again. I ain't gonna lie again. What she do? Like, I ain't gonna lie. It was one of my friends, his name was Odyssey. And then she, she told me what she said. She was like, I like your friend, I don't like you no more. And then I'm like, dang. And then after that, I go to my friend Odyssey house. And then he just showed me that text message. He was like, he was like, look, your girl texted me, yeah, ooh, ooh. So after that, I ain't gonna lie, I went to my grandma house, left his house, then I just started crying in my room, in the bathroom, all type of stuff. I think, yeah, she was. She was my first, like, real, real girlfriend, because you know that, all this stuff, right? I really don't, I really don't count that. I ain't gonna lie again, cause I was a dumb, stupid boy looking for love. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I just wanted to be somebody's boyfriend again. Like, I ain't gonna lie, seeing everybody else again. 
Like, got their little girlfriends and stuff again. So you like, I'm trying to put them too. I want me a little girlfriend. Her time, these girls, not right. I'm good. At the moment, I ain't even gonna lie. I was hurt. But like, I was the type of like, boy who really don't, I'm not gonna show that I'm hurt. Um, but I'm just keep a person and just move on to the next girl. Um, but and then I actually, I actually did move on for her. That Kobe was he, that was my homie. So we already knew what was going on. We um, but we just knowing we knowing these guys there. Like he told me he was like I'ma talk. He told me before I saw the guy. Hey man, it's cool, my girl. Hey boy, what the fuck? Is you cool, second? He was like. I'm gonna talk to her when you done talking to her. I'm like, well, yeah, he was not lying either. Oh. Oh, you call that a friend? Hey, go lie, he was, he was, he, he was cool though. He was cool though. He was decent. Cause like we not gonna get a sweater with no female. Um, but You swinging? I'm just thinking. Wait, you've been in deep thought lately. I mean, it's just hype. It's very different from middle school. Well, last time it just started. Stop thinking so far ahead. Just have fun. Yeah, I guess. Do you remember when we used to be like that? We've been through it all. I'm sure we can get through high school together. I guess. My sister got through high school. She had a boyfriend. She was I'll, okay, girl. but who cares what other people think? We can just be ourselves. But your sister, she's she doesn't count. She's on another level. You smell like outside. That's where I was, duh. Outside there. I was at the park. Okay, who still hangs out at the park? Everybody. Everybody isn't your age. I mean, you should start doing things people your age do. You're going into high school. It was an old lady hanging out at the park. What are you talking about? Look, all I'm saying is, you know, you're going into high school, so you should start dating and hanging out other places. So, with that being said, my boyfriend has a little brother around your age. Oh my gosh. And you should Facebook him and ask him out. No. Whatever. You sure? <laughs> I guess. You'll leave me alone? Yeah. It'll make you cool. Like you helping your situation.
What are you wearing? Clothes. Yeah, I know that, but you're going on a date with Gio. I look fine. What's wrong? No, you don't look fine. You what? you look like a go change. Into what? I don't know. Go find something in my closet. Why would I go in your closet? Because you look hideous. What's wrong with it? Everything. Go change. Hurry up before he gets here. He's going to be hearing you in it. Why? See, he's already here. Hurry up. Oh, I can't stand, I can't stand those clothes you're wearing. And I'm going to go stall. Hey, what's up? Oh, hey. She's not done getting dressed yet. Oh, cool. Wanna wait in? Sure. What didn't you say? Just had to know. That was really bogus by her for standing me up like that. I hope she's okay though. I can't believe I left Reno. Like, that's just so wrong with me. I left that to park alone just to hang out with somebody I barely know. I want you to have everything I had when I was in high school. You could go to my place. I want you to have the cute boys, the popularity, and get invited to all the hottest parties. We can have fun, just the two of us. Can I go anywhere without you being here? I'm just trying to help you out, Kenzie. What do you want? Look, you came to me for advice, okay? What, you want me to walk like you? You want me to talk like you? You want me to dress like you? What do you want? You want the parties, you want the boyfriends, and you want the cool friends, so. That's not what I want right now. I want to be myself. So you want to be Kenzie Delane? Yep, that's who I am, Kenzie Delane, I'm myself. Being like you won't get me nowhere. I'm not putting you down. I'm trying to bring you up on my level. Being like you will get me to heal if I heal. So, um, yeah. You gotta accept it. I'll try. Can you get out the bathroom? Bye.
am so sorry about yesterday. I did not mean to leave you out here by yourself. It's just, I'm, I'm sorry. Did you kiss him? No. No, I don't get down like that, no. No, I am not trying to grow up before my time. You're right. But we're definitely growing out of these things. Maybe we should find somewhere else to chill. Okay. Where do you want to go? Let's go to the cafe. Oh yeah, I've been meaning to try the new iced tea. Well, maybe we can invite Gio if he ever talks to me. Oh, I'm sure he will. He can't stay mad at you forever. I didn't. True. You came back. I'm glad I did. I'm glad you did too.